Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how you can create a public group. So again, I've logged into my educator account in Flipgrid. I'm in the discussion tab in my educator admin and I go to groups. And here I simply click create a group to get started. This time I'm going to click on public. Now a public group does not require a specific username or a specific email address in order to access the group. Instead, participants with the link or the join code can view and participate in the group. Now, in order to record a video, they must sign in with a Microsoft or Google email. It's important to remember that public groups are not to be used for student groups or for classes. Public groups are ideal for adult learners or if a school were to set up and create informational topics that they wish to share with the parent community. But again, public groups are not to be used with students. All right, to create this public group, we're going to go ahead and give it a specific group name. And again, notice that I can customize the join code to make it simple, accessible for all, as well as memorable. Because again, I'm either going to be providing my participants with the specific link to the group or the join code for those who are going to be accessing the group on the Flipgrid app on a mobile device. Once I'm ready, I simply click Next. And notice that I have the ability to duplicate any topics that I have previously created as either standalone topics or as part of other groups. And again, if I choose to duplicate a topic, only the topic settings and details will be copied over. Any videos that were recorded in the topic inside a, another group, those videos will not be duplicated. If I did want to duplicate a topic, I could just simply select the topic and click duplicate. The next step and the last step is the option to share the group. I'm going to click cancel because remember, you can share the group at any time once it's been created.